Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's morning here on the compound. The sounds of nature in the background. Yeah, I'm being a little sarcastic. Okay, there's Marie and Bernadette there in the Todd Wildlife Refuge, which is going to be addressed, so to speak, during my brother's visit. This used to all be yard. Let me just explain to you. And you are hearing the sounds of uh, Uncle Blaine and uh, Spencer neatening up over there, chopping wood to an appropriate size, having a fire. I'll take you over in a minute, but this used to all be yard. I don't want to back up too much. I'll fall over a chair. All of this was part of the yard. Then suddenly, one day it happened. It happened over time, I guess. Uh, some underground springs came to life above ground. And it was tough to keep up with the mowing. So every year it got to be less and less that was able to be done. And it eventually worked its way into this. New uh, stuff uh, came to life, like that tree, whatever it may be. Todd used to love it in here, and therefore we call it the Todd Wildlife Refuge. Okay, let me just take a peek next door and see what's happening. My sheet hanging up to, so we don't get clotheslined. Although, a tree that's involved in holding that clothesline thing up will be removed. It's deader than a doornail. Deader than a doornail. Okay. Didn't I say lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with lust? I'm not sure. And I've lost the cats already. Okay. That swing set was, uh, my father put that in. Gosh, I'm kind of into the sun. I don't even, okay. Uh, and it's been there ever since. It was for Jill when she was little. Jill and Blaine. Spencer is wearing the appropriate safety gear, ladies and gentlemen. Don't panic. There's a scene. Okay, here's my brother overseeing the operation. Not really. Spencer's the foreman. And they're doing this. Okay, do you remember the huge amount of wood that was in front of that pool house? I'm just going to step in here. Blaine did most of that uh, removal and whatnot. Spencer had cut it all down. Oh, my brother decided to sleep in this hammock last night with a tarp thrown over him, but my sleeping bag was too slippery and he ended up in the pad on the floor. Wait a minute. Yeah, in the pad on the floor, hold. The child is really in, you know, I have to say I'm pretty proud of Spencer because I'm gonna pause and go next door where we can hear ourselves think. He, um, has learned to do a lot of things just by researching it on his own. And when he was in school, which wasn't really school because he was unschooled. I keep yelling because I know that chainsaw. He um, did an apprenticeship with a gentleman named Jeff Kingston, Jeff's Automotive, north of here in delightful Connieville, Pennsylvania, and learned a lot of stuff there, mechanically speaking. And since then has just, oh my gosh, there's, Bernie's laying on the table. You know, he's taught, he looks at a video and learns how to fix a, something on a vehicle or whatever. Excuse my window there, it's all taped up. I don't want you to see it. Okay, there's my chair. That might be Bernard. There's the horse trailer that's kind of used for storage and such. It's Bernard, and he's going to run off because anything new that I'm holding, he's terrified of, which is just dumb. Snowmobile's been there forever. Don't get me started on the snowmobile, ladies and gentlemen. It's just too... I mean, my God. Okay, I should put it out by the road and say for free. Okay, I think I'm done. I don't know where the cats went, but I just wanted you to see the morning festivities here on the compound. My coffee cup is atop the... Whatever that thing is, the sewage deal that takes it to the town. You know, my father evidently fought the sewage deal being hooked up to the municipality big time. I didn't live here at the time. Okay, there's they're both here. Bernadette, come here, girl. Bernie, come on, honey. Get on film. I don't know if you can see, you can see Marie's tail. They're a little bit nervous of the sound, which is good. That means they'll be in shortly. Okay, that's all. Signing off. Not even going to do a closing here on the compound around 10 in the morning on Monday. Bye-bye now.